Hello everyone. So today we are going to solve these type of prove that questions. So you have to show that this whole LHS is equal to zero. So in these type of questions, you start with the LHS, prove that it's equal to RHS, or you start with RHS and prove that it's equal to LHS. Now here obviously the LHS term is more complicated, so we'll start with the LHS term. I'll just write that down. Now here is the LHS. Now when I saw this question for the first time, I really wondered how we are going to proceed after this step because the identities that we have, it is all sine square, cos square. We don't have sine raised to 6 or sine raised to 4. So how are we going to proceed? So that's when I wondered. Now this sine raised to 6, we can write it in terms of sine square. Now how do I do that? Just see, I can write this as sine square theta, the whole cube, exponents. See here also cos square theta the whole cube. I don't know how this will help me but definitely let's try. There's no harm in trying. So I'll just write it like this. Okay. Here also I have sine raised to 4. Let me try. Write that also as sine square theta the whole square. Okay. Let's see what happens. Now friends did you see this is looking like a cube plus b cube. This is looking like a square plus b square. Don't we have identity? a cube plus b cube. What is it? Yes, a cube plus b cube is correct. a plus b, a square plus b square minus a b. We don't have any identity uh, with a square plus b square. But definitely can't we try this? Let's give it a try. So what I'll do is I'll take a sine square theta, okay, and b as cos square theta. Let's see what happens. So this 2 is outside. So instead of this a cube plus b cube, I'm going to write this part. What is it? a plus b. What is a? Sine square theta, not sine theta. Okay. You need to be careful. Here, this is a square. So now it will be sine raised to 4 theta plus cos raised to 4 theta minus a b. So here it will be sine square theta cos square theta. Okay. Now this is only the first term. The remaining terms, just copy it as it is. Now, I don't see any advantage of writing this as sine square theta the whole square, friends. So, that's why I'm going to rewrite it as sine raised to 4 theta itself. So, this happens very often in trigonometry proof. You do a few steps thinking it will work. But then if it doesn't work, you will have to go back to the previous step. So, this is all a part of proofs. So, just remember that you have to go with a calm mind. Now, did you see this? Yes, sine square theta plus cos square theta. Identity has come. Wonderful. So, I can write this entire thing as 1 okay sine square theta plus cos square theta is 1 now we don't have any identity with sine raised to 4 this also no identity there also nothing can be done so I'll just copy everything as it is let's see what happens okay now I've copied it now did you observe that I have a sine raised to 4 sine raised to 4 here cos raised to 4 cos raised to 4 there so they are like terms so why not open up the brackets and see what happens so let's open up the brackets 2 into 1 is 2 so 2 into sine raised to 4 okay very carefully friends okay this is done the first term here also I have to bring minus 3 inside so minus 3 sine raised to 4 theta minus 3 cos raised to 4 theta plus 1 okay that's done yes we have a light term over here and a light term over here so let's club them together so 2 sine raised to 4 minus 3 sine raised to 4 what do we get minus sine raised to 4 minus cos raised to 4 yes we can't do anything about this so I'll just write it as it is now what do we do? Again think for a few seconds. Uh, yes, I think we can write sine raised to 4 as sine square theta the whole square. Remember here we did like that. Yeah, so this also I can write as cos square theta the whole square. And this you have 2 sine square theta cos square theta. So I think it looks like the expansion of a plus b the whole square. See friends? So whenever you have this 2ab term, right, always see if you can apply these identities. So this surely looks like a square plus b square plus 2ab. Only problem is there is a minus in all the three terms. So let me just take out the minus common. I can definitely do that. Okay. Only for the first three terms. Let that plus 1 be as it is. We don't need that now. 
okay yes perfectly it looks like a square plus b square plus 2ab so i can write it as a plus b the whole square where what is a sin square theta so i'll write it as a which is sin square theta remember the minus sign is still there plus b is cos square theta the whole square and what is remaining plus 1 see friends now again identities what is it sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1 surely that's great minus 1 and this is squared okay plus 1 of course 1 square is again 1 so minus 1 plus 1 which is 0 which is my right hand side that's amazing right so friends i hope you understood how to solve this question in the next video we'll solve another type of trigonometry question so if you found the video useful do like it consider subscribing to enjoy math and please leave your questions your comments your suggestions in the comment section below so till we meet again take care